everybody. Um, it's Tanya, Team Jesus Mom, here again. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to encourage people. I don't know, I, I don't know, there's, I know there's a lot of people out there feeling hopeless or irrelevant for whatever reason or another. Um, sometimes, you know, you may wonder if what you say and do matters at all, you know, and in, in the grand scheme of things. And I know we all deal with that from time to time, even myself. You know, you wonder if, um, if the things that, that you say and do are, are getting through to anybody, you know, whether it be Facebook or even people in your own church, you know. I know sometimes, you know, with the busy hustle and bustle of life, you know, some people, maybe even not even meaning to, you know, might might seem to, to shrug you off or just make you feel like you're irrelevant, you know, and, and I know that we all have those feelings from time to time. I just want to let everybody know, I mean, if you're one of those people, to just know that that no matter what is going on that God is with you and you are relevant to him even if nobody else gives you the time of day you know God is always there he sees what you're trying to do he knows your heart he knows that when you share something or you know make a video or whatever that your intentions are pure that it is relevant whether anyone shows, you know, get, responds or, or views or whatever, you know, God knows. And I'm just saying, don't, don't get discouraged if you're not getting the results or, you know, the, the attention from people that, that you think maybe you should or something, you know. I know it can be lonely sometimes. And, you know, it's not always, you know, people's fault either, you know. But, again, you know, always know that, that even if people are busy in their own circles or tend to stick with their own circles of people, know that you belong to the ultimate circle. And that circle is, is that, that Holy Trinity, you know, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That you, they, they are your circle. That's, that's who thinks you're more relevant than anything else could ever possibly think of you. You know, it's, it's about what God thinks, not what people think. And I know sometimes that's hard, you know, and I have to tell myself that too. Because sometimes it, it does get discouraging when it feels or appears that, you know, it just doesn't matter, you know? But it does. It does matter. You matter. I matter. We all matter to God. And I just hope that everyone, anyone that does see this video will understand and, and know that you are valued by God. You know, and it, don't, don't put your faith in people. Don't put your faith in church or anyone else. Because we're all human. We all mess up. We all fall, fall short. You know, and if we put all of our faith and all of our relevance <laughs> on other human beings, even those in church, we're always going to be disappointed. We're always going to feel lonely. We're always going to have a void, if you will, you know. So, focus on God. Focus on the one that does matter. Focus on the one that, that does know your relevance. Don't let people be, you know, de determine how you feel about yourself and your purpose and whether or not what you say and do or share or try to do for God's kingdom matters, you know, maybe it won't right away. Maybe it, you know, maybe 
my videos, for in, you know, example, I don't have a huge following, and sometimes, yeah, I'll admit I get discouraged a little bit, but you know what? I know that at some point, maybe even during the tribulation period and the beginning part of it, someone out there may come across the videos that me and my boys have posted and might actually come to, you know, a saving knowledge and actually know what's going on at that point. Or, you know, I mean, someone could just happen across it. You know, even if one person is encouraged, then I will have fulfilled my purpose of making this video or any of the other videos that me and my boys have put up on our YouTube channel. And the same goes for any one of you. You know, it's... Know that, that you're, you're worthy because of God <laughs> and to God. You know, don't worry about people and what they think of you. Put the word out there and try to try to save as many as you can. You know, try try to get the word out to them so that they will be saved. <laughs> and the rest will fall into place at some point. You know, even if we wait for the rapture to happen, <laughs> and you know it falls into place, then it will fall into place. And God is always with you. And I just say, keep making the videos, keep sharing the Facebook posts. Someone is bound to see it that needs it. Whether you feel like you're getting backed up or supported or not, God is rallying you on. And, you know, even the people that you think aren't paying attention to you, you know, your circle or the people you think should care that you might feel don't, you probably do. They're probably just busy, you know, with life and other things they got going on. And just pray for them, you know. And even if they are simply blowing you off, pray for them anyway. You know, no matter what the, the case is, don't let your sense of purpose and significance rest on what other people are or aren't saying or doing. You know, know that, that your support is God. That that should be the, the biggest thing for all of us. And to remember, and I'm talking to myself too, that God is the one. You know, Jesus would put your faith there. Nowhere else. And I hope to see you all at the rapture. <laughs> you know, understand the times we're living in too, because wow. Prophetic times, for sure. All of this insanity here is, is coming to an end pretty quick. I, I don't see it being a whole lot longer. I mean, look at, you know, Matthew 24 spells it out. Jesus tells us what to look for in the end days. This whole thing with Israel, you know, Zechariah, Ezekiel 38. I mean, there's a whole bunch, you know, Zechariah 12. Okay, yeah. Ezekiel 38, there, there's a whole bunch of prophecy in play right now about to be fulfilled. You know, the only thing Israel's missing right now is their third temple. And once that happens, it's <laughs> race to the finish. <laughs> Jesus is coming back for us. So whatever's going on in the world and in your world, hold on to that. Hold on to that faith. That, you know, we're going to be out of here soon. And know that you are relevant to Jesus. And don't ever lose, lose focus of that. So I just wanted to share that. It's just something that's been weighing on my heart the last few days. And I just wanted to share. Thank you all and God bless you all. And please give your life to Jesus. Bye-bye.